Om Vignarajaya Namaha. In this video, I was inspired. I'm walking now in Portland, it's raining. And I wanted to share this video from the man named TB Joshua. TB Joshua is a prophet who recently passed. Um, I'll share a video to the, well, I'm referencing how to be filled with the Holy Spirit. In this video, I wanna call it anchoring God into your life. How to anchor God into your life. So he talks about this in the, uh, a lot of things in the video. And first, let me talk a little bit about what is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the power of God. It is the consciousness of God. It is one and the same as God. So Arul is also the Holy Spirit. And he talks about the Holy Spirit as if you cannot be a Christian. And now when I say Christian, take the word Christian and re replace it with anything that fits your faith. Whether that's just, you can even say to be a spiritual person. You have to be filled with the Spirit. You have to be filled with the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost or our rule or the divine consciousness, whatever name they have it for in different traditions. And in order to be a true Christian, replace as needed, you have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You can't even read the Bible unless you are filled with the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, the Bible or scriptures become just literature. It just becomes history. To speak, you need to speak in the name of God, to, to speak the words of God or to preach or do anything like this. You need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And also being filled with the Holy Spirit, he talks about you won't be invited anywhere that Jesus wouldn't be invited. or any. So you can think of any divine being, any master. They're all, the Holy Spirit is what makes an enlightened being enlightened. It is what makes divine beings divine. It is their power, it is their intelligence. It is the source for all of that. So whether it's the Buddha, whether it's Jesus, it's Shiva, Vishnu, uh, Allah, or whatever divine being or angels that you follow. This is the Holy Spirit is behind them. So, how to be filled with the Holy Spirit. One thing he talks about, and this is the most important thing that I took away from the video, and there's a lot, but this is really profound, is anchoring the Spirit into your heart. So, filling your heart with the Spirit. What is that? How do you do that? The Word. He talks about, this is the same thing they say in the yogic tradition, the mystical traditions. The Word and the Spirit are one and the same. They're interconnected. They are... Uh, on, you cannot remove them from one another. So, by he recommends singing songs, hymns, uh, re reciting the scriptures in your heart. You can also use mantra. So, whatever mantra that you are called to, whatever name, it could be just Jesus. And he gave examples of how he does this, and it's very reminiscent of Dr. Ply. So, when you're talking to somebody, he he was going on, he was on stage and showing and demonstrating this. He would be Jesus, 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 Jesus. Locate me in your mercy. Locate me in your favor. Now the words he was using were being coming to him from the Holy Spirit. He was totally filled with the Spirit when he was talking. So when I was listening to him, I took them to be the words of God. And he talks very much about the heart and anchoring it. And so the concept is the Spirit needs something to anchor in you. So you need to have use the Word so that the Word, they can anchor onto that and fill you. And he says to the measure and degree that you can do this, it is a measure and degree that you can get the Holy Spirit inside of your body and keep them there. And with this concept of anchoring, I am also reminded of the technology of uh, statues and images, also called as idolatry. Idolatry is also a technology to anchor the divine to your life. So when you have statues and images of Jesus or other gods or archetypes or any divine beings, masters, prophets, in your environment, you are helping to anchor them into your life. They have something to use. So in the mystical traditions, the statues are not just arbitrary objects. They're not inanimate objects. They are used to be filled with the spirit of the being. So the beings descend into the pictures, into the statues, and remain there. And you can offer prayers to them. They can communicate with you. But the main message here is you have to anchor them into your life. And the first place is doing that in your heart. And he talks very much, another thing that was very profound that he said is in order for the, the Holy Spirit to even come into your heart you have to first empty your heart out you have to release all the resentment anything that you're holding on to the anger um, frustration jealousy any of these negative qualities you have to release these from your heart so allow the a certain it's a certain level of surrender it's a certain level of forgiveness it's something to reflect on and so give this a try. So he talks about when he talks about 
I'll rule our Jesus, 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 locate me in your mercy. And this being prayerful is also anchoring into your heart. Prayer, I've been finding more and more, uh, not just through words, but through my own experience, is very, very powerful. The prayer is directing the Spirit. It is as a communication. He says the most powerful prayer is the prayer in your heart and to yourself. When you're talking to yourself, this is the most powerful prayer. Jesus, Jesus, or Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, or Aru, Aru, Aru. Locate me in your mercy. Locate me in your favor. Never let me forget you. Sanctify my life. Sanctify my body. Sanctify my mind. And he talks about when people come up to him and talk, talk, start talking to him, he says, I apologize if I don't respond right away because I'm busy. And he points to his heart. He's constantly in a state of worship. And this is the most powerful thing that he says is if you can control your heart, you can control everything. If you can control your heart, you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. So I wanted to make this video and see how it goes. Uh, let me know your feedback in the comments below if you found this helpful. And I do intend on making more videos about this video, which I will post a link to, how to be filled with the Holy Spirit. God bless.